In particular, I have asked Mr. Lee Hsien Loong to continue serving in Cabinet as Senior Minister, and I'm glad that he has agreed to do so. And the other ministers will continue to serve in their respective portfolios. In fact, some of them were just appointed recently, so there's really no reason to change. I will also look at possible promotions, as well as consider bringing in a few backbenchers to strengthen the team. The bigger changes to the cabinet lineup will likely happen only after the next general election. In fact, I'm already in the midst of looking for new candidates, especially those with potential to hold political office. So depending on the outcome of the general election, there will be an opportunity then to renew and strengthen the team with new members. In government, we will have to tackle immediate concerns around jobs, economy, cost of living. We will have to provide, and we are continuing to provide greater assurance to families, to seniors, to vulnerable groups. And we will have to start work not just dealing with immediate concerns, but taking concrete steps towards our shared aspirations, something that we had set out to do through the Forward Singapore exercise. Along the way, we will continue to take inputs from Singaporeans, get ideas, get them to share their hopes, dreams and concerns, and we will continue to update our plans. So these are things we will continue to do till the end of this term of government.